And welcome back to Game Escape, here today to review somewhat of an odd game, and that is Pool Nation for the PC. This is a game that I picked up uh, on the Steam, I guess, uh, Lunar New Year sale that they were doing. And I have to tell you, I have been pretty much addicted to this game for the past, um, you know, week. It has been really uh, an example for me of what a great casual game should be. And of course today... We are inundated with casual games, many of which have some interesting gameplay mechanics or are legitimately fun to play, but are saddled with a fairly onerous uh, DLC or microtransaction model that ultimately ruins the fun, at least for me in a lot of these cases. Pool Nation is not one of those games. It um, really is a very straightforward pool game. I'm not going to call it a, a simulator because I imagine there are other, you know, better PC pool simulators, but it really captures the mechanics of billiards um, in a very, very convincing way. I don't really play uh, billiards much at all these days, but, you know, there's a point in the past where, you know, high school and college where you'd go out uh, to a, an arcade or a bar and play pool and really the mechanics of this game kind of remind me uh, to a degree of what you know the strategy of real life pool is it just feels natural the mouse input here is um, very very precise very very accurate um, you know you can sort of use different spins to create different English and knock the balls different ways um, you know, you can kind of hit the ball from the side and get that sort of side movement rather than forward momentum. Um, and it's all very, you know, easily done. Basically just, uh, moving the mouse, uh, left and right, up and down, using the mouse wheel to kind of give you different angles and holding down the left, uh, mouse button to, you know, pulling that back to sort of gauge your shot power, uh, and you're off. And it allows for a very, very fine level um, of strategy and, and control that I have not seen in a video game, uh, you know, pool. Again, I'm not going to call it a simulator, but we'll call it a, a sort of arcade-style pool game. It really does kind of capture um, what you would expect from, you know, a real-life kind of situation. Um, that having been said, it's... You know, it, it may be a little too easy to pull off some of the shots, which is why I wouldn't call it a simulator. But um, nonetheless, really, really enjoyable, kind of almost uh, tactile feel to the game. Just the sounds of, you know, the the shots, the balls hitting each other, the ball sort of bouncing off of the, you know, the rails on the table. Uh, it all feels right. And of course, you have these dramatic slow motion shots, um, you know, when you apply the right amount of touch. So it is really a ton of fun uh, just even to go into the free play mode and experiment. Uh, but the more or less the heart of the game is, um, you know, you have four locations, uh, each uh, of varying degrees of difficulty, with different types of players, and you can sort of play through them either with nine ball or eight ball and just progress through these series of characters who are, um, you know, they get more and more difficult as you move on, and they're kind of patterned after, you know, artistically anyway, uh, after like the GTA box art, at least that's what it reminds me of. Uh, but aside from that, they have no real personality. The only issue that I, I have with the game is that as you move on and you get to that you know, final hall with the most difficult players, it seems like the game is deliberately setting you up for some really, really tough shots. You're either going to be literally behind the eight ball, you're going to be, you know, trapped behind your opponents, um, you know, at least, at least an eight ball trapped behind, you know, their balls, and it makes shots very, very difficult. Um, to, to the point where it becomes, it doesn't even seem like it's a, it's a game of chance. You know, every shot you take will put you in a progressively more difficult situation on the table. And you get to the point where you have to really put together, you know, five, six 
seven or even eight ball streaks uh, to beat these guys. So I would say it kind of declines in fun factor, you know, as you move through the game. But it takes a while uh, to get there. And on the way, um, you know, it is just one of those things where, you know, I'm working on the computer, say, oh, you know, let me play a, you know, play a frame or two, and, you know, that turns into an hour. It's got a great uh, kind of relaxing, I don't know what, what you would call it, sort of techno electronica soundtrack. You know, it, it just fits what the game is trying to go for. It has some really nice locales themselves, um, you know, glowing tables and neon lights and things like that. Um, so it's, you know, it's just the perfect package. And I, I think for $6, you know, it's, it's the perfect package that you would want in uh, a casual game. Now, is there DLC? Uh, yes. Now, what they were selling for $6 on Steam was some pack that includes a lot of the DLC. But as far as I can tell, um, it's just sort of skins for your balls and or decals and different kind of cues and stuff like that. It, it doesn't seem to be anything that you know affects the game. I don't. I don't believe they're locking any content away uh, behind the DLC. Uh, it does have online play. I haven't experimented with that too much, and it has a mode where you can kind of create these trick shots with little, you know, ramps and gimmicks and obstacles. Uh, again, not really what I was buying the game for, I guess, if you have the patience to construct all of that. Um, it, you know, it could be fun. But just the, the kind of basic, and for me, 8-ball is what I prefer to play uh, when I do play pool, you know, just that game alone, you know, under $10, really, really uh, worth it. It was exactly what I was looking for, and it reminded me of why Steam is so great. I had no idea this game existed. Uh, I did. I wasn't even searching for uh, pool games. It just kind of came up, and, you know, price was right. Why not give it a shot? And that was kind of the mentality I had renting NES games in uh, in Blockbuster back in the day when, when they used to have, you know, rows and rows of NES games. You'd find something that, you know, you weren't necessarily, you'd never heard about, that you weren't necessarily looking to play. And sometimes you'd be sorely disappointed, uh, but sometimes you'd find a gem in the rough. And that's what this game is, an absolute gem in the rough on Steam uh, may not be to everyone's taste, you know, it's not, uh, you know, retro-inspired, it's uh, not, you know, one of the hip indie games, but it's a really fun, relaxing, very playable, uh, mechanically very refined, casual game, and I think it's really worth checking out. So, I thank you as always for watching Game Escape, and I'll be back shortly with another video.